Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm here with Sean Fitzhugh from California Golden Blogs here covering Pac-12 Media Day for the site covering Cal football. What has been your big takeaway? What have you been, been your big takeaways after today? You know, Cal's a little, uh, I'd say, a little underrated this year. They're fourth in the media poll, mm -hmm. and they've got a lot of good pieces coming back this year. We've got a uh, 3,000-yard quarterback, 1,000-yard yep. receiver, 1,000-yard rusher, a lot of key components on the defense. The defense is pretty young, but there's a lot of talent there. So right. we're, we're missing, you know, Pac-10 Player of the Year, Michael Kendricks from last year. We're missing both inside linebackers, both safeties, but there's a lot of good talent there to come there and replace it. What is, what is the next step? Obviously, the quarterback position was an up and down place last year. Zach Maynard struggling at times, turning the ball over, not just him, but multiple guys turning the ball over. Right. So what need, what is the immediate fix for Cal to, to sort of win the close ones and sort of turn a corner? Yeah, you're hitting on one of the main ideas is turnovers were a big problem last year. We had, I think it was three games where we had five turnovers and to compete, you just can't have that. Right. Uh, had we not had those turnovers in each of those games, there's probably a good chance we would have won. We held USC to uh, one of their worst offensive outputs of the year. Texas, that game was very close. The UCLA game, again, same story, five turnovers, but we're only down three going into the fourth quarter. So being able to be more consistent, take care of the ball, just some of those fundamentals will really help the team take another step forward this year. You mentioned the defense as a strength. Obviously, they performed very well these past few years. What are the, the position groups on both sides of the ball that you feel pretty good about going forward, and where are your biggest concerns? The two where I feel most confident, definitely the defensive line. So even, again, we're losing some talent to the NFL, but there's a lot of really solid guys replacing them. Right. The defensive line could be one of the best in the conference this year. On the other side of the ball, running backs, uh, we got E.C. Sofaley. He ran for, what, 1,300-something yards right. last year. C.J. Anderson's backing him up. And actually, Anderson might start taking away some carries from Sofaley. Anderson right. was coming on really strong late last year. He had a really solid spring. And even at third string, we got Brendan Bigelow. He's a guy, he might remind you a bit more of Javid Best from a few years ago. He's very fast, very elusive. So three deep where I'm enormously confident in the position. I could see any one of those guys starting and I'd be perfectly happy with that. And when you look at the schedule, first of all, how manageable is that schedule and how realistic is, you know, I mean, I guess what is the realistic expectation given the schedule? Right. One of the things when you look at the schedule, the two things stand out. We've got all the games in a row, no bye weeks until uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Right. And then we've got that back to back at Ohio State at USC. Besides those two, the schedule is actually pretty manageable. Uh, you look at the top teams in the Pac-12 North, Oregon, Washington, Stanford. Cal has them all at home, and we're favorable in that we've got the uh, five home games this year in the conference. In the conference play, so, yeah. yeah, looking at the standings of who's going to finish where in the Pac-12 North, Cal's got a pretty good shot just based on this advantage they've got with the schedule. Lots of home games, lots of uh, home games against the teams they're really going to be competing with. That's Cal football. That's Sean Fitzhugh. Gold, California Golden Blogs. I get it right. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Go you. read California Golden Blogs three times every day. I don't know. <laughs>